A nearby black hole, Tom Cruise gears up for a space movie and China's launch of their new rocket. It's Tuesday, May 12, 2020. Happy birthday, Keely, on day 51 of lockdown here in Australia. Let's talk some science. Across Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts and YouTube, this is Talking Science with Dr. Brad Tucker and Matt Miller. A very happy quarantine Tuesday to you, Dr. Brad. Yes, how's it going? Really good, my friend, really good. How are you down in the nation's capital? Ah, uh, it's been, it was a balmy minus three overnight. <laughs> it was a chilly six up here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you had to turn the dial to the red area of the temperature gauge, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I tried to take a soaker for a walk this morning, and she wasn't having a bar of it. <laughs> so I don't know how she's going to go if I chuck her in the car and bring her down to see you. Yeah, look, I don't think she would cope too well, to be honest. it's uh, <laughs> We're only at the beginning, as they say. Oh, oh chilly, chilly. And as I said in the intro, uh, day 51 of lockdown, uh, it's starting to come to a sort of end uh, this weekend here in Australia. Hopefully we're not uh, rushing into this and uh, causing a second wave. Hopefully it'll be, it's incremental steps, right? You know, that's kind of what you want, baby steps to uh, evolve. Um, hopefully it works out like that. Absolutely. Well, you can find uh, Dr. Brad on his socials, uh, Facebook, Dr. Brad Tucker, Twitter at BTucker22. You can find Trekzone all over social media. Just search for Trekzone. Uh, Brad, let's dive into the headlines. Talking science headlines. And first up in our headlines, uh, the head of human spaceflight, I believe it is, at Roscosmos has passed away. Yeah, um, him. he's been head for quite a few years and he actually caught uh, COVID-19 uh, and it was it was announced shortly after the, the last flight uh, to the space station a couple of weeks ago that we talked about that he actually had COVID-19 uh, during that, uh, they were never worried because of the natural safety protocols they took, but it ultimately proved fatal. So, you know, it's definitely a, a far reaching uh, issue, no matter where on Earth or near space you may be. Yeah, well, speaking of near space, the Light Sail project, uh, Bill Nye, the Science Guys uh, project, has sent back, uh, or has been in orbit for 10 months now, and it's sent back uh, in celebration. They've released 10, uh, 10 images to celebrate those 10 months. That's right, yeah, one for each month. And, you know, it's quite nice. Uh, you get to see, uh, you know, a nice view of the Earth and, and, and the sail. Um, it's only expected to last, uh, you know, the whole project, I think, about a year. But it's, you know, so far been successful. One of the whole goals was to test longevity and operation and those sorts of things, and uh, so far proving to be successful. So. Uh, uh, you know, hopefully they have a, a good rest of the mission. And one last one that I wanted to mention uh, is SpaceX. Uh, their Starship 4 had a successful static fire test. We talked about it a few weeks ago uh, with Starship 3, I think it was, that failed the static fire or the uh, the uh, pressurization test. They've had a successful one and they're looking even further ahead now with Starship 5. Yeah, that's right. They had a, a number of uh, their previous tests were quite literally blew up. <laughs> it, and look, fairly impressive fashion to be honest um you know they don't what, do things by heart yeah that's right um <laughs> so they luckily got one finally right and as you said and look that's why you do testing that's why it takes a long time that's why they call it rocket science <laughs> it takes time so it's good that finally they got over that hump and as you said yeah looking towards the next step talking science stories of the week and our first story of the week brad is all about a black hole Pretty close to Earth uh, by astronomical standards. It is a thousand, um, I was going to say a thousand kilometres away, but we'd be in serious trouble if that was the case. Yeah, look, a thousand kilometres would be a bit of a, that would be close, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> look, I know it would feel like it'd be on par for 2020 to all of a sudden have a, a black hole only a thousand <laughs> kilometres away, but... It's not that bad yet. <laughs> it is a thousand light years, of course, uh, which is in the galactic neighborhood, really, isn't it? It is. Look, the, the Milky Way is 100,000 light years across. So, you know, it's it's relatively nearby. It's it's 1% close, you know, in the 1% area of our neighborhood or our solar neighborhood compared to the rest of them. And more importantly, A, it's been found that one exists that close, but also just the size of it. It is a small, what we call a stellar mass black hole. And 
you know, the, the light is now just being really shed on the, the small, these stellar mass black holes, and to be able to directly not only find one uh, nearby, but also the way it was found, it was found not necessarily by uh, gravitational waves or some of the events that it did, it was actually found to just exist because of the orbits of the other stars. So a, a pretty important discovery, not only what was discovered, but how it was detected as well. All righty, Brad, let's move on to our next story of the week. Uh, I love this one. And uh, a mate of mine just sent a tweet out that he asked Google Home to play some morning music and Danger Zone uh, kicked off which, of course, was a Tom Cruise movie. I never thought I would be able to talk about Tom Cruise on Talking Science. but he No, look, that's right. Uh, he wants to enter a new danger zone. Uh, good segue. Hey. Uh, the, the, the space zone. <laughs> look, it, it's, 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 it, it seems like it's in the early stages, but there is, and it's been confirmed by NASA that SpaceX and Tom Cruise and NASA are in talks about shooting a movie in space on the space station or at least partly on the space station. i'm wondering whether tom cruise watched interstellar and said i could do that better yeah move over mcconaughey i'm taking you know i'm moving forward i look i, I don't really know it, it's quite interesting <laughs> nobody knows <laughs> no no look no one knows you know a lot of people always talk about you know tom cruise is famous for doing lots of his own stunts it's actually probably not that dangerous it depends on obviously what they get him to do but you know nasa as we talked about is open to now having private people go to the space station, as we talked about last year when they announced it, a big change from them being very anti-private people. And SpaceX is already talking about their first launch of private people 2021, maybe 2022, after um, the Demo 2 test it all works later this month. So, look, it, it's not that far-fetched. It's, you know, it's completely doable. Yeah, in, in the realms of, I think, exciting, and it could be interesting. You know, obviously, the devil's in the detail and whether it actually happens or not and what the plot is instead of just Tom Cruise in space. I don't think that can be the theme of the movie, but maybe it could. I don't know. <laughs> just because. So, I mean, maybe it's Topper Gun. <laughs> Maybe it's Space Force Top Gun. <laughs> Who knows? Lots of different ways to take this. Top Gun, Space Force. There's the title. I, th I think we've just made the plot of the movie here. <laughs> Look, I wonder if this was more like an idea and then said, hey, that's not a crazy idea. And, and then they would think more about the story movie plot <laughs> up. Look, again, hard to say, but, you know, to put this in a scale, uh, you know, we talked about this last year when India launched the moon. That mission only cost around $100 million dollars. Whereas the movie Gravity cost $120 million. So it's actually probably just cheaper to do it in space than just make a movie about space on the ground. So, I, look, it, it's it's silly, but <laughs> it's not that far-fetched. All righty, our last story of the week. And, I mean, that was that was the high point there, Tom Cruise at uh, the space station. It's going to be epic, whatever happens. Uh, but uh, something also epic from a scientific standpoint Another country uh, has had a successful launch of a heavy rocket uh, that's going to be getting humans and equipment into orbit and beyond China's Long March 5B rocket. That's right. Uh, you know, we, we highlighted this uh, the other week or last week when it was a get ready to to be launched and rolling out to the launch pad. And, and it did. Uh, you know, Long 5B uh, is their big rocket, the one that they need to take both humans and human capsules and, and stuff like that, and also the parts of their space station up. And, uh, you know, it's good to see it. You know, we've talked about um, India's ambitions and other ambitions. Um, this is a, a big step uh, in the right direction to, to be an independent big space player. Um, not just for launching satellites, but humans and that sort of thing. Fantastic, Brad. Well, uh, as I said at the start of the show, people can find you all over social media. Uh, on Facebook, Dr. Brad Tucker. Uh, on Twitter, at BTucker22. You can, of course, find Trexone all over social media as well. Uh, just search for Trexone, you'll find us. I'm there on Twitter as well, at Miramat86. Brad, it's fun to pick apart the stories of the week with you. Uh, thanks for uh, podcasting five days a week with me, recording one day a week, but it's the magic of television, trust me. Uh, and we'll do it again next week. That's right. I don't wear a pants in any of those five days so you know the magic of podcasting <laughs> fantastic brad we'll see you next week take it easy